Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. 
See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh shit. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. Whoa. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. The snow and eclipse still happened here. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Oh my god. None taken. It's see Max's heartbreak. It's fully painted. The house. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Holy, that was the longest intro scene ever. I was dying to talk a little bit, but hello, everybody. Oh my goodness, we've made it. It's been 10 
grueling weeks since the last episode. So I really don't want to delay anymore, but quick introduction. Um, hi, if it's your first time watching me, I'm Mata Wellens. I try to take my time on every single little thing, so if you're looking for a quick walkthrough, it might not be your thing here. And one quick thing about the music. I will have to turn off the music in spots where they have vocals because of copyright reasons, but I have the next best... La la la. But I have the next best option, which is to include the music in a little link. So every time you see a little link to a song title at the top right corner of the video, click on that link and you can play the video of the music at the same time as the video. Okay, I think that's it for administrative stuff, right? First things first, I wanted to talk about that beach scene a little bit. Some interesting things that were brought up. When they were talking about the Max writing letters to Chloe, Max says that she, rem she uses the best parchment and blah blah blah, right? That's really interesting because does that mean that Max remembers her memories from her AU self, her alternate universe self? That's what I'm going to call this Max, okay? This AU Max. That's, um, yeah, because I was under the impression that our Max replaces the Max in this world. So that was an interesting point. Not sure if she has the memories or she was Chloe just- I know is thirsty, so I better grab her some water. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it really quick. Just let me mention that again. Right, where was I? Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. No worries, man. Sorry, sorry to keep you waiting. Not sure about the memory thing. Beach whales, Earth is messing up, and... Man, it is so weird to hear Chloe's voice coming out of this blonde chick. <sighs> should we get our water first or should we look around her room? I guess we can look around a little bit. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Totally different person. Doesn't say hella. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Hmm. Snow globes are taking over. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. You know what, the good, the good side about staying in this room is that we get to hear these random banter things. There's the old Chloe. <laughs> oh, a mouth controlled, like a Whoa. voice control. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Yay. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. <laughs> the Black Attic Club. Like a calendar for... Clubs, yeah, clubs. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hot Wheels chat room. Is that, is that like a chat room for disabled people or is Hot Wheels just something else? Let's see. Hot Wheels chat room, welcome. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? Miss Blue is Chloe? Ignatius says talking with you. Haha, <laughs> no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. OMG, love. Scott Bakula rules. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Fran. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you when you're bringing on Bakula. You better. Hello? Never came back. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's a support chat room of sorts. That's really cool. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. What the hell is that? That looks like Kyube from Madoka, if you guys have seen that. Glad to see you're as nosy as ever. I don't want to disappoint you. I'm glad I didn't miss that one. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. So her room is now, like, in our own universe? This is the garage area. I and mean, I'm guessing they did this because it's easier to access. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Yeah, because if the room is upstairs, then, you know, it's going to be very difficult. So that's nice. Have we seen everything? So, yeah, it's a totally different person. Oh, medical equipment. Probably... Very expensive. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. 
My room sure looks different now, huh? It does, but it's still you. So I'm not too sure on the medical intricacies, but I'm guessing she can't do much besides talk, pretty much. Talk and look around, so maybe her bottom half of the body is paralyzed? At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. What is this machine? Is this a machine that helps people practice walking, or...? Yeah, if someone knows, that would be great. So... There's still some traces of the previous house, but... That's a serious heat lamp. Oh my god. Oh! Yes, I remember! Last episode I said... The thing I should do first when playing a new episode... Is read our stuff. Let's see, holy mo- Oh my god, Nathan, what the hell is this shit? Dad, same old? What the hell is this shit? Victoria texting us. Max, you busy girl? <laughs> Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out, you never been- Oh my god. <laughs> you never let me help. <laughs> okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who, FYI. Save me a bowl, gotta bounce, talk to you later. Come by my room tonight. Oh my god. AU Max is hardcore druggy. <laughs> so Taylor. Max, thanks for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass, like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. Gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so... Call me back. Max is very, very social and very in with the Vortex Club. And I guess just like any other typical AU, there's of course very big differences, just like Chloe, but also things that are constant, like Taylor's mom being unwell. Nathan. Oh my god. Dark room. Yo, yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet. So no two whales for you? Not yet. See you guys later, though. Peace out. Oh my god, we're buddy buddy. Mom? Happy birthday, Maxine. 18 whole years. Oh, Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Ignoring my mom. Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude. And please don't be snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. Yeah, right, long day of smoking. You're not the only one, and that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card when I needed it. I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later, have to go. Don't pout, love you. Hey honey, hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drop- God damn it, the plant still died in this world! <laughs> I'm pretty sure for a Polaroid camera, the film might be more expensive than the actual camera, just like printer ink and printers. Chloe? Hello Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon, I hope. Bye. March 27th. That's like, so it's uh, October right now, right? Seven months ago. <laughs> Five months later. Hey Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while. Just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back! Blackwell? That's so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang out again. So yes, this is still my number. Cool. Got a buttload of homework, but we'll get in touch soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. See you soon. Oh my! Wow! <laughs> Would be perfect if Max sent back no emoji. Oh my goodness. So you can see all the previous episodes have been setting up for shit like this. God damn it. Oh, but it doesn't look good that Max ignored her for basically five months, but at least we're in contact now. <laughs> hey Max, it's a shame you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god. I was so not aiming at you, I swear! Don't do it again. Whoa. Not used to this badass Max. Okay, 
Let's see our... Oh my god! Are you kidding me? It's all black! It's all black! Is this nice film? What? The, the film thingy! The Polaroid film thingy looks different. It looks more high class. Holy, holy shit! Look at this! It's so clean! What the hell is this? September 4th, 2013. So much to do. I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia. Blackwell rules! September 21st. Yes, I'm older and thanks to Vic and Nathan, I'm now a bit more fashionable too. They surprised me with the most beautiful straw pork pie hat wrapped in furoshiki style. Best birthday party ever. Also drunkest. I can't sleep. October 4th. Hey dear diary, remember me? Busy Max, busy, busy. Can't right now, must shoot, must live, must be friend. Should rekindle with Chloe too. But must vortex first, party time! Whole, oh my god. You guys see this? The, the style of the, the journal is completely different. I remember the old journal had a lot of more messiness over it. Like the whole water painting randomly. This is so tidy and neat, who the hell is this? Is this gonna be different? I don't think so, but let's have a quick skim. Hmm. It seems the same as before, although I haven't read the old one in a while, so I don't know. I guess we can check photos. Okay, so some sort of dangly decoration at a window. Pile of rocks. Bird's nest. Swans? Swans making a heart shape, or it could be like squirrel tails. Footprint. Beached whale, I bet. What is this? Windmill with a feather. Uh, some bird's leg squishing some twigs. A, a moon and a jail cell. I don't know. <laughs> what? And a skeleton. Oh, that's, I bet that's the school. The science lab. But, okay. 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 This is a lot of intro stuff. We should probably go get Chloe her um, damn water. Could you give me that water, Max? Oh, shit. Of course. <laughs> shit, we've been here for so long. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. I am so sorry, Chloe. Just just one more second. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Make a wish. Bad, Max. Make a wish foundation? It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face again. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Is there a date on this? No. Thinking of you. Oh, the other side I of I wonder her. who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better, and I hope to see you again. Megan! The hell is Megan? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want to get I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. Hope you're well, love Max. Holy shit, okay, when they talked about parchment, I thought she actually had nice parchment paper, but it's a shitty piece of A4 size of paper. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Is this for real? Holy shit. AU Max is a shithead. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry, Chloe. Let's get you that water now. Okay, not here. What? You're gonna get water from the, the bathroom? Where are we getting water? Is it in the room? Oh, it's in the room. I'm so... <laughs> Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Damn. Drink up, buttercup. There's no water in there. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. <laughs> Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. 
It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates, running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Screw them. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. She's so scared that we'll leave. Now one aspect that people might not think about much is when someone gets into an accident and becomes disabled, their friends slowly just go away. And that might not necessarily be because they're shitty people, but for example, if you have a disabled friend, you can't really hang out or, or you can't, can't really- to watch a movie with you. The DVDs are near the TV. Oh, permission to snoop. Thanks. But yeah, you can't really hang out with them. You can't invite them out for like even a walk in the park. So it really sucks. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. It's beautiful. Hey, that reminds me of that picture they had in Max's dorm room before. Pirate power. But that's not what we want to be watching. Ah, here's the DVD. Alright, let's chill and watch some copyright movies. Now we have a movie night. Sit on the bed. <laughs> it's not even comfortable. <laughs> 